What's going on Guardians? I'm Warside aka your guide to becoming the best PvP player you can be. Today we're going over what obelisk PvP roles you don't want to miss. So for the sake of keeping this video short, I'm assuming you guys have your tower obelisk set up already and that you're able to grab every time lost bounty. I'm also assuming that you know about these weapons in general and that you're looking for the best advice possible on what roles you need. We're going to start with the Black Scorpion Scout Rifle. So on the Black Scorpion, if you want to 4-tap Guardians for one of the fastest time to kills in the game, you need to have two things, Arrowhead Break and High Impact Reserves. Do not use the Black Scorpion without those two, otherwise you'll hit body shots which will completely tank your time to kill. Everything else on this weapon is just icing on the cake. You're looking for a stability masterwork and put a counterbalance mod on it and you'll be able to compete with hand cannons up close and pulse rifles from middle range. Up next we have the Breach Light. This sidearm is amazing and extremely forgiving, having one of the best body shot time to kills in the game. And while it's not as good as a god roll smuggler's word, it comes very very close. So you're looking for arrowhead break, for the complete vertical recoil direction, accurized rounds, demolitionist, and quick draw to assist with breach light's awful handling stat. So breach light pairs extremely well with snipers and it's way more forgiving than last word for all you console guardians out there. On to the gallant charge. I wasn't going to recommend this one because in my opinion Aaron Till is way better and more consistent, but I feel like Gallant Charge does deserve a shout out if you're investing your fractal line like me. So right off the bat, I want to mention that Gallant Charge does not have a backup plan, so it has really really bad handling. So with the barrels we want to ensure that we have range but not to a detriment to our handling stat. So we want Hammer Forge Rifling, so that's plus 10 range with no detriment to any other stats. Particle Repeater which gives you plus 10 to stability. Demolitionist or hip fire grip, and tap the trigger in the last column. Alright, for last perdition and bygones, I'm not really going to touch much on these because everybody uses these for the most part. Um, but it's pretty simple. For bygones, you want arrowhead break for the vertical recoil, ricochet rounds or high caliber rounds, kill clip, and outlaw. On the last perdition, it's the same thing. Like the second, third, and fourth column is the same as bygones, but for the sights, you want SPO 57. This sidearms is one of my favorites, and I'd rank it just behind my feeding frenzy, tap the trigger, last hope. Traveler's Judgment, and to start, the sights aren't the most important on this, so... My favorite sight is the Quick Dot sight, because it boosts handling, but you also want ricochet rounds, or high caliber rounds and rapid hit, or feeding frenzy, topped off with tap the trigger in the final column. So if you get all these perks, you can consistently hit headshots, which is pretty wild on the sidearm if you're an avid sidearm user like me, so... Try this thing out when you get a chance. So Steel Feather Repeater may not be super meta right now, but it certainly has some good perks. I thought I'd mention just in case. So on Steel Feather Repeater, you want small bore for the boost in range and stability, high caliber rounds, firmly planted, and swashbuckler or vorpal weapon in that last column for PvP. Last but certainly not least is the Patron of Lost Causes. This scout is pretty wild. It has clean sights and it can roll explosive payload. Really you're looking for stability and explosive payload on this gun. The rest of the columns are just, or the perks rather, are not really that important. But if I did recommend any, there would be small bore, um, fluted barrels, pretty good because it boosts your handling, which this gun is lacking in handling. Let me tell you, accurized rounds, steady rounds, rapid hit, and explosive payload. That would be my god roll. So if you guys notice I skipped any weapons, there's a reason for that. The weapons I didn't mention are a waste of your resources, and you likely have something better in your vault already. So. Don't waste your time, please. Anyways, I hope you guys got some good information out of this video, and I hope I catch you guys next time.